Welcome into National Signing Day coverage brought to you by Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com. I'm Ashley Pickle alongside Next Level Athletes, Greg Powers. And Powers, let's head over to Red Raider land. What do you think about Texas Tech's recruiting class overall? Well, I think one of the bigger stories leading up to National Signing Day was when Baron Morton hit the pause button on his commitment to Texas Tech. Didn't really know if he was going to sign or not, so when he sent in his letter of intent, that was huge news for Texas Tech. So we'll talk a little bit more about his skill set in a minute, but I have to give some credit to what they've been able to do recruiting the state of Texas. They have really kept an eye on in-state talent. And I think that that's going to pay dividends down the road. The last two or three classes have been just full of talented players from the Texas high school football ranks. And that's once again the case in the class of 2021. And really, when you take a look at the class as a whole, who are the top prospects in the class? Well, four-star Eastland quarterback Baron Morton is at the top of the list. He's a guy who had a 10 touchdown performance in 2020, so you can kind of talk about a guy who can put up big numbers. This is him. He's looking for an offense where he can sling the football around because he's a quarterback who can sling it around. He finds open uh, receivers quickly and easily. Uh, he has a quick release. He can get the football out and push it up the field. Uh, just really has every skill that you're looking for in a talented quarterback prospect. Was an Elite 11 finalist, so, I mean, he's a nationally rated guy who can come in and possibly, possibly be an early starter. There's going to be a huge jump for him coming from a smaller school in Texas to, to the college level, but he has everything you're looking for in a quarterback prospect. And I'd really be remiss not to talk about Jerron Bradley. Uh, he put up huge numbers as he let, helped lead uh, Plano John Paul to the state championship game in 2019. He transferred to DeSoto and really didn't miss a beat playing against top-level competition in 6A Texas high school football. Uh, just a really talented wide receiver who can take the top off of the defense. He has long arms for climbing the ladder and high-pointing the football. And at 6 foot 5, 200 pounds, he creates huge, huge mismatches over defensive backs. Uh, so when you factor in all of his skill sets, Rated at number 69 in the DCTF Hot 100, he's one of those guys who I feel like I'm going to be kicking myself over not making a four-star as he probably will put up huge numbers as he feasts on Big 12 defenses. And finally, any sleepers in this class that we should be keeping an eye out for? There are a few guys in this class who I think that you can really point to when you're talking about sleepers, but none fit the role more than Mason Tharp, a six foot seven, 225 225-pound tight end from Klein High School. He's a long arm tight end who can, who can be a true red zone weapon, a guy who you, your quarterback can look to when he's trying to find a way to score touchdowns and what is the most critical point uh, in a game sometimes. So I think that this is a guy to really keep an eye on. And I like a pair of offensive linemen. Jacoby Jackson from Mansfield Summit has the size and power that you're looking for in a true interior offensive line prospect. And, you know, Jack Tucker from Argyle. Six foot six, six foot seven, 250, 260 pounds, could play anywhere up front and plays for one of the most talented offensive units in the state. I really like what Texas Tech was able to do up front and, and especially led by these two commitments.